Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is the demo for Strasna 2, a first person psychological horror game where we play as a painting restorer who has received an invitation from an artist to visit his mansion, where we must solve puzzles and escape the evil that lives in this ancient estate. And it looks very Blair Witchy at the moment with these twigs at the bottom. And we've got a little doll here. So let's begin. Let's try and restore these paintings. Why not? Ah, let's set up your... Okay. Use the slider to adjust microphone volume. Um, all right. Uh, oh, that seems quite... Let's bring this... Let's bring this down a touch. Let's bring this down. That seems... Okay. Not sure how this is going to work. Um, yeah. Sounds good. Maybe too much. Don't know. Mr. Selfie. Hey, Mike, it's me. Um, so I got an invitation to, uh, uh, from this artist to come to his mansion to work on a restoration project, right? The place is stunning, just surrounded by nature. It's so quiet here. It's like the whole world has slowed down. But, um, I don't know. There's something off. I don't know. I don't know what it is specifically, but something's giving me the chills. I'm gonna try to dig deeper to see what's going on, but, um, yeah, I don't know, just wanted to send you a message. Anyway, uh, wish me luck. So it looks like we got the chilly willies. All right. Here we are. Walking up to the mansion. Feels like they're a G to focus. Probably the owner went somewhere for a minute a couple of years ago. Hmm. All right, what we got here? Northville Times, the enigmatic artist. In the heart of a mysterious forest, a talented artist creates eerie masterpieces. His frightening paintings depicting scenes of darkness and despair have captivated the curiosity of many. Despite numerous attempts to reveal his identity, the elusive artist remains hidden, shrouded in the dense foliage of the forest. The existence of a mysterious artist fuels the imagination, making us wonder about the genius of those frightening works of art. Okay, and then we have a little picture here. Oh. It's like the Adams family. The creepy and the crawly. And then... A cup. Ah, what does the cup say? Wild nature. Nature is calling. So someone's gone hiking and never returned to their car. Voice events. You can make a short recording using your microphone. This does not affect the gameplay and is added for entertainment purposes. Okay, interesting. What do we have here? You called into a random radio show. Could you say something for the listeners? Sure. Hi there, listeners. You're listening to Mr. Selfie at Horrible FM. Hi there, listeners. You're listening to Mr. Selfie at Horrible FM. Cool. Um, was a bit loud. Maybe I should have used that soundbar. And we have a little, little doll here. Oh, more dolls. Little teddy bears. Okay. Yeah, just busting down that fence. No shits given. Welcome to the Gordon Baker Radio Hour, where we bring you the best tunes to keep you company through the misty weather. The fog hangs in the air like a mysterious veil, giving everything an otherworldly feel. So sit back, relax, and let my voice be your guiding light. Oh, we have a call coming in. You're on GNS FM with Gordon Baker. Hi there, listeners. You're listening to Mr. Selfie at Horrible FM. Wow. What that was that? Burst my eardrums uh, there. That concludes our program today, folks. But first, some music. That's a nice little mechanic. I wonder if that will be used in the, in the game somehow. But uh, let's see what we got here. In the hazy realm of misty air, fog's gentle touch whispers without care. 
A veil of mystery, secrets it shares, enshrouding all with a quiet affair. Very nice. And then we have another little doll here. Unblinking eyes and some Blair Witchy sticks, which I don't really want to walk under. So we're just going to avoid that. Okay. <laughs> this is what I look like every morning. Ah. I like the level of interactivity with the things, but I'm not sure if these are just here for decorative purposes. Looks like he's seen a lot. He's got that thousand yard stare. So I'm guessing this is the artist's... It's not really a mansion. I'd say it's more of a shed. But, um, okay. We're here to restore some paintings. Okay, this looks... We've got a flashlight. Good. Is this like a TARDIS situation where... <laughs> <laughs> the little shed has turned into the mansion. We've got another... Can you voice the monster? Oh. Cookie, 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 Mr. Cookie. So I'm guessing the monster is going to be the cookie monster. More of those sticks. Um, this room seemed to have boxes. Now, there isn't any. Well, hello, beautiful. Oh, we have a vinyl track. Okay. This is how to use the machine, the uh, gramophone. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Bit of a jazzy number. Oh. Did the playing of the music cause her to screech and fall down? We don't know. And what do we have here? A little cherub. Um, what seems to be a beer can with a candle on top. Hmm. Scarecrow. All right, let's go around to the desk here. Let's find out what we've got. Ah. Hmm. Northville Times, the legend of the abandoned library. To this day, the legend lives on, capturing the imagination and sending shivers down the spine. The abandoned library continues to stand like a silent guard, its doors tightly closed, as if protecting its sinister secrets from prying eyes. And the question remains, does the monster really exist in its abandoned chambers? The mask I used to wear is now becoming my face. Hmm. Okay. What do we have down here? Ah. I see. Something at the fireplace, perhaps? And would that be the mask on the table there? We do have a lot of objects over here, but I'm thinking that quite a few of them aren't really needed for anything. Huh. Maybe this will be some kind of puzzle where we have animal statues. Um, well, let's go to the fireplace and we have all this stuff over here as well. Jeez. Tonight I thought I heard one of the paintings breathing. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, is there a little leap? Can I jump? I can jump. Okay, there's... Aha! Yes, a little lever. What does that do? Does that do anything? 
Did that open the door? No, it did not. Um, we haven't tried this door. Hmm. Why are the plants growing? Why is there like tree stumps down here and everything? Don't know. Ah, here we go. Ah, is this the painting I need to restore? Has a kind of layers of fear vibe going on. Life is just a fleeting canvas. Just colorful splashes on the wall of existence. And yet in his fragmented brushstrokes, I find beauty. Tragedy. A masterpiece of human existence. Right, so now we're in the library. Cookie, 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 cookie. Monster is hunting you, be careful. Cookie, cookie, Mr. Cookie, 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 Mr. Cookie, 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 Mr. Cookie, cookie. What is that? A fuse of some description? Cookie, Mr. Cookie, 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 Mr. Cookie, 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 Mr. Cookie, cookie. Where's the cookie monster? He's around here somewhere. Cookie, 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 Mr. Cookie, 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 cookie. All right, he see me. Cookie, 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 cookie. What is this thing? Cookie, 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 Mister. Cookie, 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 Mister. All right, okay. Is that meant to? No power. Was there a button on that thing, that fuse box? Oh, he's there. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's the button. But I have to, I have to do some laps, I think, because Mr. Cookie Monster is after me. There we go. Right. Ah, oh, god damn it. Come on. <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm kind of getting the the the, 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 the <laughs> It was just so weird hearing cookie 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 all the time just repeat. Uh we have a, f a few more paintings on the floor now, but the the kind of hub area has opened up a little bit now. Um Hey. What the hell? Seems to be some grunting going on. Am I meant to burn you? Okay. Very strange. Very strange things going on here. Alright, this area opened up. And now we have a cross. Press 1 to use the crucifix. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Okay. So the cross is going to be a deterrent of some description. Things are just flying around in here. Coffee tastes better than tea. Cats are better than dogs. Echo from the flooded basement. The once prosperous home had its basement left to decay, now filled with water from a relentless storm. 
As night approached, the air grew heavy with the eerie silence. Strange, otherworldly sounds began to echo through the dark, dark corners, sending shivers down the spines of those who dared approach. The mysterious sounds seemed to emanate from the depths of the flooded basement, fueling imagination with tales of the unknown lurking within its murky waters. And then, okay, so we can take that. We've got the UV stick. Ah, is this going to help us? There appears just to be some, like, random things. Random, I want pizza. Okay, and then what do we have here? Gordon Baker, we know you like to lick the cheese in between your wife's toes. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be hearing more from Gordon Baker soon. What do we have here? Um, just notebooks with... I mean, the artwork is great. I love the artwork here. Um, oh, we have another track. And then we have a music box. Perhaps this is going to be used for some puzzle. There's a lot of items just strewn about the place. Winding up the music box. Are we taking you? No? Okay. Let's just use the UV sticker. Ah, okay, here we go. Lots of handprints. Does that mean... Are you pointing to somewhere? Can you hear us? Ah, are those the pentagram? I'm not sure if any of these mean anything. You just got things. The screams still echo here. Okay, something on the painting. I perhaps. Ah, no. Okay. Pray for forgiveness. I'm sure this UV stick will be used to decipher some type of message. I just can't seem to find what it is yet. Well, let's go down. I'm assuming we're going down to the basement now. No. No, we're not. Something about the music box? Can we take the little... No. We cannot. Coffee tastes better than tea. Was there something? Maybe there's a key in one of these drawers. No? And cats are better than dogs. So we did have, we did see the cat figurine in the other room here, didn't we? Um, maybe there is a puzzle here. So, there's a cat. There's something on the cat. Cat's better than dogs. It's a lion. Don't see any dogs. Coffee? There's a coffee cup. This mug is also... Ah. This mug is also suitable for tea, but I would try pouring fish oil into it. Can I take you? No? Ah. Did, by me picking up the coffee cup, did that change things? Because now we're going upstairs. All right. Yeah, some random... <coughs> artwork here. This is Gordon Baker, and you're listening to GNSFM. It's time to lose yourself in the magic of the night sky with the Gordon Baker Radio Hour. Remember, even in the darkest night, there's always a star shining brightly, waiting to be discovered. And here's another call. You're on GNSFM with Gordon Baker. Gordon Baker, we know you like to lick the cheese in between your wife's toes. <laughs> I think we are out of time. We should take a break. Gordon Baker signing off. You lick that cheese, Gordon Baker. You lick it hard. Right. They are watching you. Any, any notes on the pizza? 
bit random. All right, so I'm guessing now we're going to be going to the basement. Is that right? Ah, the crushing weight of loneliness and isolation. Have you ever felt it? The feeling of being adrift in a sea of faces, but completely alone. I feel it every waking moment. My brush strokes bleeding onto the canvas. A desperate cry for connection with a world that is deaf to my soul. Okay. Oh, I see. We've got an amnesia. Invisible monster. If that's the artist that's um, sort of saying things, it sounds very much like Malcolm McDowell. Right. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to jump and hop. I think. Can the cross? Would the cross do anything? He's over there. I need to get to that barrel. Okay. You just lurking in the. Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Oh. Oh. No, the cross doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um. What's around the corner here? Well, the light. No, it doesn't matter, does it? I'm gonna have to wait for this thing to move away. Yeah, you go that way. You, you you go that way. This could be a dead end, but let's see. Oh. Ah. We have a valve handle. I will take that. Thank you. I wonder how many hits I can take before I before I go down, but um Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Apparently a few hits. But not that many. Right, let's see. Um See how fast you are. Quite fast. Right. Uh, we have a button over there. Somewhere I can put the valve handle. There's something over here as well. Let's let's try and get over here first. And we have some. We're forming some kind of. Oh, what do we have over here? Ah. Okay. Hang on. Get on the barrel. That's where we put the valve, I'm guessing. Okay. So what, now I have to turn the electricity off? Because that looks, um, where's the monster gone? Okay, wait there, maybe I'll put, oh, no, oh, I see. I thought I had to, okay. Right. Okay, I think I know what's happening here. All right, now... Oh, come on, get up there, get up there. Hmm. I think I could run and make it, but I'm... Yeah, he's all the way over there, isn't he? And... Run, 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 run! Oh, that's the power off. Oh, whoopsie. Way with you, beast. Alrighty. So in both of the hub areas, we had to kind of turn off a fuse box. I wonder if that's going to mean anything. Oh. Thanks for playing the demo. If you liked it, add the game to your wish list and join our community to stay up to date with all the news about Shrasna 2. I didn't find a Shrasna 1 on Steam, um, so I'm not sure if this is a continuation of another game. So there you go, guys. That was Shrasna, Shrasna 2. Um, it was a bit random. I'm not saying that's in a bad way, but um, there were lots of items that just didn't seem to have any relevance. There seemed to be a lot of objects just strewn around but with no particular meaning or purpose. Um, I like the fact that certain items you could pick up and they obviously had some impact on the world, i.e. when I picked up the coffee mug. I'm assuming that changed the area around me, whereas going down to the basement before was now going upstairs. I like the fact that you've got this kind of centralized hub that changes. Um, and you have little little kind of puzzles there as well. However, the actual threatening places, like the first one with the library with the with the Cookie Monster, um, 
I'm not sure how decent the AI there was because he just seemed to be chasing me. And then the second one was just a rip off from Amnesia, The Dark Descent with the invisible water monster. Um, I think there needs to be a slow build up of tension in those type of areas rather than just being placed in like one small little area and then trying to run away and escape. But I like the concept. Um, I like uh, that the, you know, we're going to hopefully find out more about the elusive artist and why is he trapped in this mansion as well? This, the little shack that turned out to be a mansion. That was a bit weird. Yeah, I thought this was okay. I just, um, yeah, I thought the er the areas where the, the tension is needs to be ramped up a little bit more. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you've made it this far, I thank you and appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please sub. It means the world to me. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.